A lot of people believe in the possibility that angels are still amongst us. The name angel actually means messenger, so it is actually right to assume that whenever they are around, they came to perform a specific task. If you look into the history of the angels, they have always been a messenger of hope, protection, comfort, to perform certain services, carry out God's judgment, and to give Him praise. Even in this present world, people exist that have actually had an encounter with an angel. You may have had an encounter with an angel unknowingly to you. In Hebrews 13 verse 2, we are advised to always show hospitality to strangers because we do not know. We might just be showing hospitality to an angel. God is the same yesterday, today and forever. You can always beat your chest that the way God works and will always work is in a powerful manner, for He never changes. Angels will always be here with us, in this world to carry out instructions given to them by God. They are God's messengers, and they are part of a very large spiritual dimension that we are surrounded with, though it is possible we do not see it physically. Colossians 1 verse 16 you will find in the Bible so many scenarios where God has used his angels to pass a specific message or perform a particular task on a person or group of people. It could be to go encourage people or sometimes to advise them to be patient and wait for God's blessings in their lives. It could also be to warn an individual or a group of people against hurting the believers. They provide protection for those that God has instructed them to protect. And they also guide those that God has instructed them to guide. There are so many cases in the Bible where God sent his angels. In Genesis 18, God sent three angels to Abraham and Sarah to inform them that she would have a son, even though she is in her old age. This message came to a reality in their lives. In Genesis 16, an angel was sent by God to Sarah's servant, Hagar, while she was in the desert, after she had left because she was hurt and mistreated. This story was about hope. As God just passed a message to her that he is aware of her situation, and he had not and would not forget about her. In Judges 6, Gideon was discouraged, and God sent an angel to him to remind him that the Lord was with him. The angel even referred to Gideon as a mighty warrior. These are words that even Gideon would not describe himself at that time. But God elevated him and the angel passed the message and gave life to his fearful soul. Angel Gabriel was also sent to Mary in Luke 1 to inform her that she would birth the Son of God. Angel Gabriel also appeared to Zechariah to inform him that Elizabeth would be having a son. In Luke 2, an angel was sent by God to the shepherd to inform them about the birth of Jesus. In Matthew 28, an angel was sent to the tomb of Christ to inform them that Jesus was risen. All these biblical references just go to prove that God sends his angels to deliver messages and perform tasks. You cannot be scared of angels as a believer, although this might just be our natural response when we come in contact with one. In the Bible, Luke 2 verse 10 has always reminded us never to be scared of the angels as they are of good and not of evil. God has always and will send his angels to guide us, protect us, and also fight for us if need be. We do not have any form of superiority over the angels, hence we have no authority over them, and the Bible has never given us any form of instruction or reference. Any scenario where humans instructed or commanded an angel. Angels are messengers of God, so only God has authority over them. God has assured us in his words in Psalm 91 that he would give his angels the permission to guide and protect us in all we do in our lives. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, 
God sent to him an angel who protected him. In Daniel 6 verse 22, we saw how the angel shut the mouth of the lions. So they did not do any harm to Daniel because God had found him blameless. God also promised the Israelites that he would send an angel ahead of them to guide them along the way and show them the place he had prepared for them. In Exodus 23 verse 20, God will always send his angels to guide and protect us as he has promised to keep us safe at all times. God sends his angels to talk to those in pain, loss, or those that are in grief. If you have ever been in the presence of a loved one who was about to die, a situation where that one person said some things about seeing angels before giving up the ghost, then they actually saw an angel. You may have thought they are seeing some spirits, but it actually is an angel of God that appeared to them. When you are in this situation, often you might have experienced the presence of an angel. It makes you understand how much God cares for us to send us an angel when we go through pain or any dark moment in our life. As seen in the Bible, angels are also used in the enforcement of God's judgment, especially to punish us when we commit sin against him. It is always a smart move to walk with spiritual discernment. For the Bible says that there are times that the devil will try to confuse you so that you would think he is an angel of light. But you can always trust in God to show you the truth and help you walk in the light of it, thereby exposing deception through his spirit who guides us. This can be found in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14. In 2 Kings, King Hezekiah said a prayer to God. He asked God for help against their enemies. The Assyrians have always been known for their wicked ways in treating their captives. In Revelation, we see so many times that God will permit angels and put them in charge of the execution of his judgment. Angels are mighty beings who offer praise and worship to God. Like us, they are also God's creation, and they are loyal and obedient to God. God has never and would never instruct us or expect us to worship angels or pray to them. Revelation 4 verse 11 says only God is worthy of our worship. The angels are in existence to remind us of God's truth, reassure us of his promises, guide us through the right path and protect us from danger all through the command of God. In Revelation 4 verse 8, we read how the angels are always worshipping, praying and praising God all the time. Also, in Revelation 5 verse 11 through 12, we read how angels constantly glorify the name of that God for a successful delivery. They are ever ready and always available to perform the will of God. Every human being needs protection and protection is part of the promises of God to us. God will instruct his angels to protect us from all evil and all that pretends to be good but are actually evil in our lives. As read in the scriptures, Satan himself was the highest ranked angel in heaven, but he became so proud and also wanted to share glory with God and desired to be worshipped and wanted to be God. He was thrown out of heaven and he took one third of the angels with him. This can be found in Ezekiel 28, Isaiah 14 and Revelation 12. Today he has become the demonic dark force that we all need protection from. This is the reason why it is so easy for the devil to disguise himself as an angel of God. He is doing all this to lead you astray and away from God so that you will stop worshipping God and worship him instead. Do not be deceived. All you need to do is to pray to God. God has promised to help you fight temptations and lead you away from all evil. God has promised to be there for you as you honor him. 
You can put your trust in God that even when you are completely unaware of what you need in your life or the troubles that await you in the future, God will always answer. God is always working in your life. Through his angels, he is constantly sending words of hope, protecting you from all evils, satisfying all your needs, bringing justice and mercy to your land, and encouraging you to walk in his light.